Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. This I call the crazy troll nation of YouTube. This I call chapstick. This is candy cane scented and flavored. I picked it up at random. If you're new here, I call this the crazy troll nation. First of all, I'm so rude. Girl, are you so rude? If you're new here, hi. Hello and welcome. I am glad that you are here. If you are returning, you troll fam, how y'all doing? <laughs> Um, the intro, I call this the Crazy Troll Nation because just, you've already seen a little tidbit of it. Knowing it's okay to just be yourself, whether you're goofy, funny, forgetful at times, or just whatever. Just being you and knowing it's okay to be you. The troll part is not caring too much about the beauty community standards. You set the standard for yourself. Try not to feel like you need to have a certain brand or a certain tool or even use a certain technique, which sometimes we may feel like we do watching the beauty gurus. And who called them that anyway? <laughs> okay, let me just, okay. Back to the intro. So, <laughs> you set the standard for yourself. Use whatever brand, tool, technique you want to to get your makeup on, the, on excuse me, in a way that you are satisfied with it. Because... It's what you purchased, it's what you like, and you like the look that you did. So just rock it without regard of what someone else may think or what they may say. Know that you are the bomb. Just wear it and just rock it. Because here at the Crazy Troll Nation, we believe in self-acceptance and self-love. Embracing your natural features, enhancing them if you want to, when you want to, but never feeling like you have to. Love yourself for who you are and for how you look, regardless of if you have on face paint. You rock. Your natural state, however you look when you wake up in the morning, or if you're nocturnal like me and you get up in the afternoon or the early evening, <laughs> however you look, embrace it and love yourself for it. That is the intro. Oh, I do curse on my channel sometimes because I do curse in real life sometimes. I do try to catch myself. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So I hope that it's not offensive to anyone if I do that in this video. And that'll be it for the intro. We are still in our month of McGrath. Fenty Brow Pencil Done. Estee Lauder Concealer. Pat McGrath Face Primer and Pat McGrath Foundation in M18. So that is everything on my face. You saw me just prime my eyes. You saw me put on chapstick. Today's look, as you know from the title, is Mothership number six, which is Midnight Sun. I would love for the Pat McGrath team to go back to color stories like Mothership one, two, three, and even six, which is this one, because to me, those are the most unique. And bronze seduction is nice, basic, but it's nice. And even decadence, all metallics, it is just really nice. And it smells delicious it smells like vanilla but i do wish that they would kind of just go back in time and revive or revamp these color stories because they're my favorites and so anyway this will be look number five with this palette i have my notes here we are going to use actually one two three four five six seven shades for this look and it's been surprising me how many shadows i've been using for these looks but then I do put like four on the lid, <laughs> two on lower lash lines, like that's six right there. So it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of easy to do. So we're going to jump into the look and we're going to take Extreme Dusk. And I know I've been trying to do the ethereal looks and the typical looks we see people do with Pat McGrath. But we are going to use three of the celestial shades. We're going to end up using these three right here. So... That may bring us some of what uh, I guess people kind of do. Um, Cause my, my preferred aesthetic, if you're new here, my preferred aesthetic is dark or smoky or messy grunge or gothy <laughs> or swamp water type looks. Th those are my vibes. My 100% vibe palette is the Martine Cosmetics 669 palette. So if you have seen that palette, I think I'll put that video on the eye cards near the end. And if I remember, I'll put it in the description box. That palette is 100% my vibe. And um, also I learned a lot using 
the Forest Heart palette from Selim Cosmetics. That was a subscriber. No, well, she is. That was a member request. And it really took me out of my comfort zone and made me think of different combinations because request was, you know, you can do almost any rows, any columns, diagonals. And I did all of that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like this palette is way more <laughs> versatile than I initially thought. And so it taught me a lot doing that. And it's giving me ideas for other stuff as well, as far as just color combinations. And even if I initially don't think that this will go or colors will go, like they, they will work. And so I was really appreciative for that. And so speaking of member requests, there's a link for that down below as well. If you want to join the channel, officially join the Crazy Troll Nation. Some of y'all have been rocking with me for a while. And I do appreciate that. I'm appreciative of each and every one of you that take time out of your day, night, or evening and watch my videos. My crease is sticking. This part of my lid is sticking to my mobile lid. So where my crease is, I can feel it sticking. So that means I'm talking too much and not moving fast enough. So we're pressing this on. If you missed the first four, five looks, I am still doing the outward, inward, dark to light technique. And I'm finding that I'm really liking it. And I also realized, I might have said it in the last video with Bronze Seduction, but I realized doing this technique, I don't even do a transition shade. I do take my lid shades up into my transition area because if I don't, the only part of my mobile lid you'll see is this little strip right here. So that's why I take my shadows up so that they can be seen whether I'm looking down like I am like right now, or if I'm looking at you, you'll still see the lid shades. And so that goes along with the intro, like do your makeup however you want to, according to how you want your makeup to look. And I want my lid shades to be seen. And so this is the technique, not the outward, inward, dark, the light, but taking my lid shades up into the transition area that works for me to get my lid shades seen. And also putting a shadow directly on top of primer. I never use glitter glue. I do not put on an extra adhesive or anything. And so that was one of the draws for me doing inner outer because then I'm putting the shimmer shades directly on the lid. But I find like, I find doing this one, we're now gonna take Taboo, this shade here. I find that even doing it this way, because I'm not overlapping too much when we get towards the inner corner, the shadows still are sticking to my lid, the shimmer shades. And I like this technique. I might have said it in a previous video. I'm thinking I should have took a darker shade, but no, because we're going to go lighter because we're using celestial shades as we go further in. But I've been liking how it's been blending, layering the shades across the lid this way. And I've been really digging it. I don't know why I thought I'm overlapping more because I was thinking this shade showed up darker on me so it's looking like it's not wanting to blend down here it looks like it is like this part but when I get up to here it's looking like it's not wanting to blend what's our next shade Ooh, the next shade is blood moon I'm not, I'm not going to bring that all the way over here and I did not want to use vermilion venom because I thought that would have been too dark. Sorry for poking you in the eye with my eyeshadow brush. So yeah, this is gonna take a little bit of work just blending these two together because Taboo is so much more lighter than Extreme Dusk. But I think we got it. I'm thinking this is looking good. So we're gonna put this over here. We're gonna just tap first because my lids are sticky. And I'm making sure I'm getting into the crease where <laughs> it is very sticky so that it doesn't end up looking patchy or anything like that. So let me know if you're enjoying my month of McGrath so far. And I am almost sure I said this in the last video. Systematically working through palettes, it does renew my love for those palettes. And I'm being reminded of how much I do really enjoy Pat McGrath motherships. 
I still need to be in the mood for the Chunky Monkeys. <laughs> but her mattes, I really like her matte formula. That blend looks nice. Why was that so much easier than this side? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. But I'm really digging it. So we're going to put that brush down. And now we're going to go into Wicked Envy, which is this shade here. And I'm not sure how this is going to look. You know, I thought this was a dual comb for a minute. But I don't think it is. I'm not sure how this is going to look right there where we're going to put it. But we're going to find out. So this is going to go right here. And... Oh, so then it's just Blood Moon after this. Wait a minute. No. So this is going to come out this way. I don't know why. Maybe I thought Taboo wasn't going to be dark enough. I don't know. We're using the top of the brush to blend right here. Uh, took that up a little too high. We're going back to the brush that had Taboo on it. Not adding any more sh sh shade. Shadow. Shade. No shade to the shadow. And we're just going to buff that up there. Because I took Wicked Envy up too far. I did just tap in the Taboo. And we're just going to pat it here. So actually, Taboo is ending up all the way to our brow bone. So let's just go ahead and do that over here too. And this is a good shade for this because it's not super light. It's not super dark. The Skin Show, all of the Skin Show shades, they are like super bright on me to the point where I need to take something else and tone it down, like seriously. And so that's why I haven't been using them for these looks, even though I think they may have been good. They would be good inner corner shades for me, but because I haven't been, well, I've been using Celestial shades for inner corner. This is still the brush that has Taboo on it. So we're just feathering along the outside of Extreme Dusk. I forget the names of the shadows as if I just didn't use it. And what <laughs> amazes me is if I'm talking to somebody like, oh, such and such color shade in that palette. they like, oh, the blah, blah, blah. And they'll just say what the name of it is. I'm like, how do y'all remember that? So that's something I'd I, I be forgetting. But So we're going to take Wicked Envy. And we're going to put that over here on this lid. And actually, we're, we are layering Taboo. Yeah, I don't know why I put Taboo there. <laughs> I don't really don't. Maybe it was just like an afterthought that it wasn't going to show up. And since I had it written on the paper, we're just going to still use it. So that's all we're going to do with Wicked Envy here. And of course it looks different than this side because that side went up too far and I don't want to do the same thing over here, but I want it to look symmetrical. So I am taking it up higher than I want to there. We're going back to the brush with Taboo. Not net. Get your thoughts together before you start speed control. We're going to take the top of the brush that had Taboo on it and we're just going to blend right here. So we're just going back and forth the top of Wicked Envy and where our brow bone area is. So that's that. We're going to take a sponge tip applicator. This is one of the Timu ones and it is stiff. I like the feel of the Amazon ones better, but I'm trying to get the hang of this. This is a Chunky Monkey Blood Moon 005. So I already know not to even try it with a brush. So this is my first time using a sponge tip for this shade. And so we're going to see how it applies. I am still tapping off. Oh, and chunks came off. Oh, man. Oh, man, because I needed to get on my lid. And sometimes, I'm not going to tap off this time. Sometimes you do need to get the chunk on and then smooth it out. And because the chunks fell off, <laughs> it wasn't much on the sponge tip to put on my lid. <laughs> oh, man. I don't like these sponge tips and I bought two packs. I think they were like a dollar and some change. I'm gonna give the other pack away and I'm gonna just buy some more of the Amazon ones because these are just stiff. I mean, yeah, they get the job done. As you see, it did get the job done, but I'm not, it's not enjoyable for me to use. And it might be that I'm just used to, I only have one piece of fallout and it's on my lower lashes, actually two. I don't even have fallout. Ooh, I think I just flicked it on the side of my nose. 
So that wasn't bad. I only had two flecks of fallout from that. So hopefully let's just get no more than two flecks of fallout from the other side. Yeah, I'm not liking these. Um, or maybe I'll see if someone wants it in a giveaway. I do have a 1K giveaway still coming up. I'm waiting for something. And that's why I haven't posted it yet. And it's going to be a scavenger hunt. And I spoke about it. I think it was my first two month of McGrath videos. They're just giving you some tidbits. I'm going to fall out from this one more so than just the two or three flex. We're going to leave this this way. Also, because these are more stiff than the ones from Amazon, it's harder for me to blend it with the sponge tip. Because inside of this one, I can feel the plastic piece all the way through, whereas the one from Amazon, the plastic piece is only like down here. So like all of this is just sponge. And so that's what makes that softer because it's just more sponge than the plastic part. This looks like it's further over. So we're just gonna pull some of Blood Moon 005 over. I don't wanna add more I am liking the gradient. Yeah, I am liking the gradient. We're gonna take the brush that had Wicked Envy and we're only just gonna tap, we're gonna swipe a little bit and we're just gonna tap it right here. So this is to get our blend without sweeping back and forth over Blood Moon 005 because if we do back and forth, some of them flakes are gonna fall off. And so it kind of makes me wonder, would it fall off during the day? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna flip this brush over. There's nothing on the other side of the brush and I'm just gonna press, just to press. So if there are like loose particles, which it shouldn't be, the sponge tip does like put it on and smear it. But just in case, that's what we're gonna do. I'm liking this look, back to the side with Wicked Envy. And we're just tapping where those two shades meet. And we're gonna put that brush down. We're gonna take the other side. This was the side with Blood Moon. We're not gonna use this side because there's something on there from when it shadow fell on my cloth down here. So we're gonna take this side and go into Astral Solstice, which is this shade down here in the corner. And this is gonna go on, this one feels gritty. I did tap off. This is going to go inner lid just right here. That's nice, I think. <laughs> okay. All right, that works. And we're going we're, and so what I'm doing is is I'm swiping swiping the shadow and then I am tapping off and chunks are falling off. <laughs> And this is good for this area because it's so pointed, it gets right into my tear duct and then you just smear it over. So I like the shape of it. Um, it's just more stiff than I'm used to. And also the Amazon ones are longer, like there's more space in the middle for me to hold it. But they serve, the pur they serve a purpose and they were hella cheap, which Timo stuff usually is. So... I mean, I, I tried it. I tried it. So we're going to put that down. Next, we're going to take... We're going to take the brush that had Taboo on it again. And we're just going to just feather right here. I'm going to tap into Taboo a little bit. And tap that right here. I will put as an end cap the video I did... And I was talking talking about my ideas for the 1K giveaway, a scavenger hunt. So if this is your first Mothership series video you're watching, you'll know that I'm, what I'm referring to. And you can decide if you want to be a part of that. I'm going to tap the tip of the brush in because I want to just get a little bit right here. Because we don't have any right here on the inner part of the brow bone. And so that's going to be it for shadow on the top so we are now going to take i do have some flex oh i have fallout 
Why am I acting like I'm surprised? I have some dried up um, <laughs> foundation on here. Okay, we're just going to tap and we're going to press. Oh, yeah, it's drying out. It was only a little bit left on there. And we're just going to press to clean up the fallout. And actually, it worked. I don't know if it covers it or picks it up. I, I don't know. But that's what we're going to do. The next we're going to, hmm, do I want to powder down or do to finish the under eye and all that? Let's go ahead and do the under eye. I did sharpen <laughs> the pencil liner and I'm going to see how it feels doing my lower waterline. I'm hesitant to do my upper lash line with it because also sometimes once I sharpen, um, eyeliner pencils like this sometimes the, the tip part will just fall off and I don't put a lot of pressure because I'm dealing with my eye area and so that's why I'm hesitant to do my waterline because I don't want it you know falling off and into my eye but we're gonna see I do like it because it's smooth I do have some things to show you I've been shopping not a lot and what I've been purchasing has been on sale or a point multiplier and I do go through Rakuten I have a link for that below if you're not using Rakuten or I think what's the other one um, I think it's called honey capital one has one I forget what that one is called but it's an extension you download and whatever site you go to to purchase something it'll pop up saying this is the percentage of cash back that you'll get and Rakuten pays out quarterly I don't know about the other ones but there is a link down below if you do want to sign up for Rakuten. And I think we both earn money from that if you sign up, if you're not on it already. And so that's something to think about. But make make the most of your money. So again, it doesn't need to be, you know, my link if you're not on Rakuten. But Honey or whatever, I forget what the Capital One one is. But get the most for your money. You know, if you, oh, I got a flake. <gasps> I see a black flake on my eyeball. See y'all, this is why I was hesitant to do this. And this is, oh shit. And I just poked myself in the eye. So this eye is gonna start tearing. And here I go, still trying to finish it. This is why I don't like sharpening pencils and using them for my word on. Cause I always have an issue and it was a chunk um, on my eyeball in this eye man I really poked myself in the eye because I think I was just like thrown off because I saw that speck over here and I wasn't paying attention because I haven't poked myself in the eye in a long time and because it is a pencil versus a retractable one I actually felt it poke my eye if the retractable one grazes across my eye, like I feel it, but it doesn't hurt. Like this was like in my eyeball, on my eyeball. So, yeah, so my makeup, my eyeshadow may be ruined. We will see. So we're going to take for our first half of the lower lash line, we're going to take Jubilee. This is a celestial shade, but it's not chunky. Like if you look at this one, you can tell that's chunky. This one you can see, it has some glitter particles in it. This one you see, even though it's celestial shade, and this one, both of these are smooth. So we're gonna take this one, and that's gonna go on the first half of our lower lash line. I did not tap off. I'm just gonna press that in, because I don't wanna get any more fallout. So we're just pressing and wiggling on top of the black liner. I like that. I've been liking working with the celestial shades on my lower lash line. This eye is tearing. Shout out to Zelda. She was saying how every time she does eyeliner, her eyes tear. And she named me as one of the people she watches. She was like, I don't know how they do that. Sometimes it'll just tear just a little bit and it'll just dry up so quick. But like this is going to keep tearing because I actually like poked my eyeball. And so for me though, it's about just when I'm doing 
my inner realms just to keep stopping and blinking and not just force it to just do the whole thing with my eyes bugged out like that. For the second half of our lower lash line, we're going to take a clean brush. Look how messy this got. You see this right here on the side? I don't think that was there before. So now we're going to take Bronze Eclipse, which is this shade here. And that's going to go on the outer half of the lash line. And we're going to tap off. This is just a regular metallic. This is not a celestial shade. But we're going to just do the same thing. Just press and wiggle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just to get that here. I'm like a baby. I'll be burping and gurgling and hiccuping. <laughs> and I leave it in the video. Because <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> this is not a channel of perfection. We just get stuff done by any means necessary. <laughs> so if you're new here, welcome. I'm like this all the time. Uh, I don't even know what else to tell you. But that is it for <laughs> the eyeshadow look. So what we're going to do now, we're going to... I'm going to go ahead and do my upper lash line. And I'm going to leave this part in because I'm still trying to get a feel for this liner. And once I do this, then I think I will edit out how to ring down my face unless i can think of something else to tell you another tidbit for the questions for the scavenger hunt hmm what can i think of how was your holiday those who celebrate i don't celebrate i think i did mention that if you look at the history of most holidays it is not something i want to celebrate and as far as independence day if you were born with a uterus or if you're part of the queer community, more and more of your rights are getting taken away seemingly every other day. And so where's the independence when you're taking people's rights away? And, you know, it's a personal thing. I did go to a family get together. For me, holidays are just family get togethers. Almost all of them are off. They're going to be in the same place at the same time. I get to see the, ma the, the majority, excuse me, of them at the same time. And so that's the perk for me, is just seeing a lot of family at one time in the same place, sitting around laughing, reminiscing, having a good meal. That's what holidays are for me. So it's not a celebration of the holiday. It's just, let's just get together and have a good time. And so that's what I do. And I'm not shaming or judging if you celebrate. You know, whatever, you, whatever you're comfortable with doing, that's what you do. No judgment at all whatsoever. I'm still, I'm getting used to this felt tip, but I don't like it. And I'm finding that I'm not even always liking the line that I do, but that doesn't say much because sometimes I don't like the wing that I do anyway. So I don't think that's particular to <laughs> the sponge tip applicator. I mean, this is not a sponge tip applicator to the felt tip. Some people love this, but you know, some people love everything that other people may not even like or enjoy. So that's nothing new. And that's the joy of makeup. And that's why there's so many different brands and so many different, you know, tools and whatever else, because everybody's not going to like everything. Not at all. And when I hear something hyped up to the, to the clouds, um, I don't trust it. Because no one thing works for everybody. So if everybody's like, yeah, 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 I'm like, what's wrong with, nah, I don't believe it. Like, I really seriously don't like somebody lying. Or they just don't want to say. And so they only post positive reviews, blah, 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 because they don't want to be negative. So what we're going to do, we're going to powder down the face. We're going to do the same exact base face. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to use Paradise Venus again. I think we're going to use Paradise Venus again because I need to get it to where I can put it on and not have to tone it down. And yeah, we're going to use the Lancome Sills Booster Mascara Primer, Max Stack Mascara. And I'm not sure about a lip gloss. Have we used this one yet? Astro Flash Dance. Is that going to look right? We're just going to do it. So that's the gloss we're going to put on. So we're going to do all of that and we will be back. This is Astro Flash Dance. I did everything else. Powdered down. We did the bronzers. 
and we put on for blush paradise venus and i only put it just right here and so i wasn't i didn't go all the way up like i have been so i didn't even have to like tone it down or any of that so i just need to make sure i'm just putting it just here and not like i do other blushes and i think i need to do that with this one because it is a deeper shade and we did the mascara base and the mascara and highlighter the venusian nude highlighter so this is the finished look let me know what you think i am really digging it and for me this green just makes every look i do with this grungy in my opinion and i love that tone of green and this is a unique palette to me i really wish that she would go back to these color stories but let me know what you think and yeah that'll be it for this video thank you for being here as always self-acceptance self-love that is the crazy troll nation way thank you and you will see me soon